Hi, welcome everyone. Today we will we'll be estimating non-linear panel ARDL model which is very demanded nowadays like non-linear ARDL model for time series. So people are trying to estimate the non-linear panel ARDL model. So if you do it manually, you need to do some Excel, Excel manipulation. But uh, in this tutorial, I will be showing you a few commands in Stata uh, which will be able to transform the variable into the non-linear format and then we'll be able to estimate the panel ADL. So today we'll discuss first of all the SP requisites. So it is used when, when the years per cross section are usually more than 20 and then and the variables are non-stationary. So uh, if the T is less than 20, we don't use non-stationary models. So the panel ADL will not work. Then secondly, then there is a non-linearity or asymmetric effect present in the uh, one of the independent variable and and then we need to transform on that non-linear variable into, in, into increasing and decreasing portion so that we can use them separately and then check for its asymmetry let's go towards stata and let's see how to do it so in this stata window I will open up the do file that will show the relevant uh, stata codes. So first of all, I will do the clear screen. If there is any output, then I will import the data. So I will show you the data file. So data file includes uh, the data for the panel data for 36, 28 countries. It's a data for our uh, data of ICRG, and there are two more variables, GDP and trade. So it's uh, government stability, socioeconomic conditions and then in internal conflict, external conflict, corruption, military and police so it's a data of uh, internal and external conflict uh, it's ICRG and uh, you can see data, data structure it's for each country all the years are present and then the second country comes so I have tried to make a whole blocks so if the data is not there I keep it empty so that the blocks are complete uh, so that it, uh, I can estimate uh, it as a non unbalanced panel data model. Now we need to transform one of the variable into non-linear. So I keep in use the external conflict EC and I will transform into the non-linear variable. So for that I will show you a few commands. So first of all we will calculate uh, tell stata that it is a panel data. For that you need to do xt set id here. When you execute it, it, it uh, recognizes it as a strong balance data. Why? Because I have made it complete blocks. So it does not recognize it as an unbalanced panel because the blocks are complete. Then I will calculate it for the first difference of the external conflict. So this variable is there. So the nonlinear variable is made in a way that if the rate of change is negative, then it will it, the value will go into the decreasing portion. If the rate of change is positive or zero, it will go into increasing portion so this way we split the data into two parts so we go here and then generate a, a external conflict decreasing it will be equal to external conflict if the rate of change which was the ECE is less than zero so when I do it so you will be able to see a new variable here so it is equal to EC and let's put it here so it's equal to EC if it is negative but it is uh, putting other as empty cell so we need to put it equal to zero. So how I do it? So I will do is replace ECD is equal to zero if the change is positive. So when I execute it, you will be able to see that it is zero otherwise and number when it is negative. Now I need to measure, uh, generate the positive portion. So EC I and C when I run it, so you can see it's empty here. And then when I replace it, so it is zero here. So we have two variables: the economic conflict decreasing, economic conflict increasing. Now we already know the command for XTPNG, which is used as the panel ARDL. So D for shortened portion log of. G so I have also generated log of GDP. So Gen L GDP is equal to L LN GDP as a dependent variable. So when I execute it, it will calculate the log of GDP now. XTPMG is D L G D P economic conflict increasing, economic conflict decreasing, socioeconomic conditions, and then comma long run uh, lack of GDP 
economic conditions increasing, uh, external conflict increasing, external conflict decreasing, socioeconomic condition, replace any variable that is created and name the, the uh, error correction term as EC. Now when I execute it, it will take some time, but it will show the results. So I have to wait a bit, it will take time to, to iterate. Here you can see this results have been shown. It's a PMG model where the uh, each, each cross section has uh, a separate long run, uh, so common long run results and separate short run. So there's a common long run and uh, country wise short run effects. So you can see the uh, the, uh, the increasing and decreasing portion are significant and the social economic conditions are significant but for this model though error correction is insignificant but it is negative first of all we look for if there is an asymmetry so for that we will test for the equality of these two variables EC, I and C and EC, EC so that is test for EC, D, C and EC, I and C so when I do it it is insignificant it means there is no long run asymmetry similarly Test for short run asymmetry, test D, E, C, I, and C, D, E, C, D, E, C. So when I execute it, there is no uh, short run asymmetry uh, too. So now we'll go for country wise estimates. So I repeat the command again and then just add full. So what will happen? It will estimate for each country. It will take again some time. So you have to wait for it. Here you can see the, the full estimates have been shown. For the case of ID1, there, there is no convergence. For 2, it, there is a convergence. Similarly, you can look, go on and on. You can see the results of different countries. If ID5 has convergence, ID6 uh, does not have, the 7 does not have, 9 have convergence, so ID10 does not have, 11 has it, uh, 12 does not have. So, similarly, you can look for all the countries. And if you wanted to test for the convergence, the asymmetriness for each cross section. The faster way is, uh, let me show you for one example. Faster way is just to look at the coefficient values. So EC, I, and C is negative. Uh, here it is negative and EC is positive. And since both are insignificant, both are zero, there is no asymmetry. For second, both are negative. Now look at if the number is kind of overlapping. So in their, their confidence interval, minus 0 0.06 does include in here and minus 0 0.07 include in here it means there is no asymmetry this way you can check it quickly otherwise you have to run command test id underscore 2 and d1 ec inc equal to id underscore 2 d1 dot E C D E C and execute. So it is showing that there is no asymmetry. This way you can estimate nonlinear pain and the ideal model. Hopefully you understood this commands. You can see the commands here so that you can note it down for your estimations. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe. Allah Hafiz.